Adventure gear by Climb. Because sometimes you have to learn things the hard way. Connected. Welcome to Quito, Ecuador. Where I'm following the founders of the Brosters Motorcycle Club. On GS1200. I can't explain it, but some people are just born for adventure. They hear the calling and are compelled to get off the couch and see what's around the corner or over the next hill. Join me on the ride of my life. Jesus. That's some exposure. It's starting to get good. I think this is the Brosters. Ah, uh, there's one. All right, Brosters. So this is how they get so good. Okay. Jim Hyde would be proud. Look at this. Okay, no problem. Tabletop. This is probably sand on a good day. Hello, sheep. Oh. Back up the other side. Huh. Oh, shit. What's this? Pick a line. Any line. Oh, that was gnarly. La Brothers. Today, the death toll from Saturday's earthquake in Ecuador rose to at least 480.
Jorge Cherres, Toast. Fernando Maldonado. ¡Ah! El Condot. Jairo Castelo. Eddie. Jairo Troya. Mario Menéndez. Ralph Kaiser. Arne. Tiro Banda. Topo. Diego Cabrera. Carlos Baño. Santiago. Bar Simpson. You know, here's the cool part of this whole thing. We were talking so much shit at Rawhide. Hey, I'll see you in Ecuador, blah, yeah, blah, blah. It sucks that it's an earthquake that I brings know, us yeah. down here, but we showed up. This is your team doing God's work here. We are a very, very united club, a motorcycle club. This club has united us, everybody here at Rosters, and um, the work is not done. We have many, many months going on with, with these people, with, well, with Ecuadorian people in, in the coast that we have to help. We, we are united with that and the brosters are present, uh, united with, uh, with the government and the right of my life. And this is, this is just great. So this is an awesome example of a motorcycle community coming together and just doing what's right. We are BMW Brosters Ecuador. Uh, we are an MC here and uh, we have a passion, a real, real, really passion about to ride motorcycles, adventure motorcycles. Now we are here with uh, a couple of friends trying to be something like uh, put together some stuff to help people after the earthquake here in Ecuador. So it's very important for us to help everybody now. It's an important moment for everybody to be involved in this and uh, we cannot just be something apart here. We have to be part of this and we have to put all effort together to try to bring a lot of a lot of stuff, more, more stuff that we can and try to help a lot of people. Just tell me how, since the earthquake, you spun this into existence right here. You know, after the earthquake, you know, we just uh, figured it out that a lot of things really need some help, an international help here. And uh, we tried to put some people together. Well, clearly you, you guys made a cry for help. You got too much relief to put in your garage. So Fabian offered his warehouse. Let's see yes. what he's got. Okay, sure. This is a plastic bag. Toothpaste. Shampoo in a bag. Toothbrushes. You have a lot of water. We don't need to go into excruciating detail, yeah. but... Some pampers. Better double dip on that. Instant repellent. Clothes soap. Bath soap. Powdered laundry detergent. Yeah. Jumping rope for, for kids. Toothpaste. And what if you got a pack? Candles. Candles. Matches. Towels. Sanitary for, for the, for Hook the me up. women, blankets, playing balls for kids. This is another type of kit we're sending. Oil, canned tuna, rice, sugar, salt, beans. This I love is, that. This is a sticker, the right of my life, Matt. I love this that is, they did that. Look this how is cool the, that is. This is the foundation that Jorge runs. Light Riders Foundation. Light Riders. Rosters and the Minister of the Interior. Bam. All right, man. Nice. Yes, brother. We're putting together 300 boxes for each truck.
Thanks for bringing us, man. Come on, brother. Captain Salazar, Coronel Campo and Coronel Arauz, Coronel Carrillo, Coronel Leon, that is going to show through a right of motorbikes with the organization of the cluster and the police as an institution that, is, that, that has been since the first day a minute in the earthquake zone helping. We were invited by a Ecuadorian based motorcycle club headquartered here in Quito called the Brosters and we have never met these men before we just are united by a common love of traveling the world on motorcycles. And we plan to return to Ecuador with donations from the motorcycle community, uh, America. We're in a bit of a process right now. We've heard a little bit of, of what has happened with the rapid response, what has happened with the criminal element, what has happened with the medical element. I believe we're going to continue on with what needs to be done for debris clearing and uh, infrastructure, kind of going around and all of the leaders of each of the divisions are giving a, a short briefing of, of, of what has happened. This isn't good. KTM's down. It's good. So we left Quito about 90 minutes ago and we're going through these epic canyons. Just some of the best canyon carving that you can do. We got a pretty good sized group. Everybody's a pretty capable rider. Uh, our buddy Edgar, we believe, this is my whole forensic play by play, as we're ripping through these S turns. I'm thinking that he got a little target fixation on that wall right there. So as you come into a turn like this super hot, you have two choices. You can either go straight, not make the turn, or you lay it down. You can't lay it down on this side because we got like a 1500 foot cliff into just massive jungle. So he just went straight. you make one small miscalculation, there's no guardrails here, there's no barrier, you're going straight down here. You hit that triple canopy down there and then you have to fall from the top of the trees down into the jungle floor. We found this beautiful roadside truck stop at the top of this pinnacle air ridge line in the Andes. So Tito, tell us what's for lunch. So pork, which is uh, called fritada. Right. That's corn, it's called mote, and it's chicharron. That's yuca and that's plantain.
Welcome to our country. It's a pleasure to 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 have you and your team visit. The Brosters are not just a group of people that take this motorcycle and go to Tarbuk or mm -hmm. right. you know, to a, a nice place. I think you will love our country. And you you you, ca you can come. You can leave. You, you can I'm, do I anything. Might not, I might not leave. The house right next door looks like it was kind of built hammer and nails. Half the house structure has just collapsed right here. Two stories collapsed into itself. This one just fell right the heck over. I don't speak Spanish, so I don't really know what happened to the family inside, but the community is here and uh, they're helping real, uh, rebuild it like an old school uh, barn raising. There was a bunch of, um, like an 18 wheeler flatbed with a bunch of relief supplies for the uh, for the families and the, and the and the neighbors here, with uh, food, soap, um, you know, oral hygiene, toothpaste, toothbrush, everything you might need, because they're going to be camping here for a little while. And the, the whole neighborhood got devastated. So it's not like you can go next door to your neighbor's house. They're all sharing in the crisis. Of, uh, the emergency, the first emergency already passed. Right. No? No, uh, 
now is the time of demolition, demolition. of the buildings right no and preparing the next step that is rebuild the the town uh, uh, approximately how many people are, are, are staying at the, the camps 1200 people in the camps and another 1,200 people in the in Everywhere else. Okay. camp. Right now people start to, to miss all the things that they, they had in the past and also because they see that we are also trying to, to get everything from the building so you see that your house is taken down so they get uh, very emotional for that. Raise it up. The new city. Thank you very much. It is important because you not only are looking for how was the, the headquarters, but you are looking also what the people want. Yeah. The people want to live. We're uh, downloading the, the boxes. The box is going uh, to be here. Okay. And after that, uh, one of the brosters is uh, going to have a megaphone. Okay. And they're going to start like um, calling one of the members for family. So it's not double okay. dipping here. And we did 48,000 gallons. 48,000 gallons of water. And this is the final delivery. We're just doing the first step, you know? This is like the help that we have to do now. But after this, we, we need to rebuild all this thing. Yeah. We need to rebuild this thing and start trying to figure it out how we can like start creating uh, new opportunities for these people. We could use a couple more adventure riders down here to, th to throw some water. What do we you think? We need it. We need it. Well, that's the episode. Thanks so much for joining me on The Ride of My Life. Do me a favor. Click the subscribe tab below so you can follow us and you won't miss any more episodes. And if you'd like to hear the podcast version of this, you can go to our podcast page on iTunes where we have the ride of my life there and you can listen to some bonus tracks there as well you can reach us at brad at the ride of my life dot net and let us know what you think where you'd like us to feature if you'd like to come with us or uh, you know give us some advice we'd really like to hear what you have to say thanks so much 